class, this is uh, your 20 point project, Object Arena. You shall create a Marvel DBZ Final Fantasy Thunderdome of Doom, or really whatever you want, honestly, uh, within the parameters of the assignment. Now, uh, this is going to be the ultimate battle between objects. You will need to create a few things for this. First and foremost, the hero of the story. Whatever you want. Uh, when you create it, uh, you can name it whatever you want. Unassuming mouse, super chicken, master bunger, you know, hero. Don't know. Uh, whatever you want, be creative. It's going to start with 100 health. Uh, and that's just going to happen when you create it. Uh, and we'll have a few methods for attack and defense. Take damage, which we've covered before, I believe. This will, you know, subtract, uh, take an integer, subtract that from their health. Uh, it also print a little message like, you know, this person takes X amount of damage. Uh, it's going to subtract health minus equals damage. Uh, give damage would be an attack method. Uh, this is going to basically uh, take an int and print whatever, you know, attack you want. Uh, display. And it's going to return that damage number. Now, uh, example, name does X amount of damage, uh, mental damage by using really big words. The enemy feels inferior and they take this much damage. Uh, just an example. Again, be creative. You also need a give damage to whatever you want to call it, really, uh, method. It works the same way, but different damage, different flavor text. Uh, so he's going to have those two methods. Your villain. Much like our hero, he's going to have a name. Uh, he's going to have different methods, not the same exact thing as the hero. Uh, it has to be very villainous, you know. Uh, the first method would be a taunt method that just randomly, you know, has a villain say a taunt. Uh, they'll have five catchphrases to choose from using a random number generator. So basically, random number generator is zero through four. If it's zero, print this message. If it's one, print this message. If it's two, print this message, and so on, so on, forth. Uh, the villain will also have a method called final form. When this method is called, it will gain 50 health and say something truly arrogant to the hero. This is only going to happen one time. Uh, so you may need a bit of a boolean or something perhaps that lets you know that he has already become the final form perhaps uh, I'll have to add that in here let's see here aha may need a boolean set to true in the final form or not there you go uh, once your two objects are created, you will create one of each and make a menu for yourself. Now you, of course, will choose from one of the things you're going to, one of the attacks that you have, one of the two attacks. Uh, the computer will randomly pick his own. Uh, so just randomly choose between its two attacks or one of its taunts. Uh, the villain drops below, you know, let's say 20 out of 100 health. Then that's when it's going to use final form. So you'll need a little if statement to check. If, you know, villain health is less than or equal to 20. You know, villain dot final form, and all it does is add 50 and say something. Uh, nothing too extravagant. Well, you can make it as extravagant as you want, honestly. The loop ends when either of the two die, or the, uh, well, I can't really say the two die, uh, when someone dies. Uh, when one of the two die uh, with a method of victory or defeat, whoever won, whoever lost, that sort of thing. Now, the villain will have two attacks, as will the hero, but the villain will also have the taunt that just randomly says something. Uh, so, effectively, uh, there's going to be three possibilities for the villain. So, random number generator, Zero, attack one. One, attack two. Two, taunt. Uh, you kind of get that idea. 
All right, it'll have those, uh, yes, it'll have a take and give method, but it also have a taunt. Well, actually, I think I wrote here, uh, it will have the take and give damage methods. No, same, two, uh, and one take, take damage. So basically, they're kind of mirror images of each other, but they should be different. Uh, they're pretty close, except for that taunt and final form that's in the villain. So it's got a little bit more stuff. The main, you will control the hero. The computer gets to control the villain. Uh, and then it ends when one of you is triumphant. Now, if you wanted to go ahead and add in, let's say, a heal method or something extra, feel free. Uh, this is the minimum you need to have, uh, not the maximum. So if you want to add a little bit more, you're more than welcome to. And that is the project. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. Uh, we'll continue onwards. We've got like one more project left. Uh, and as you can see, they're getting bigger and bigger and more intricate. So uh, hopefully everybody will thoroughly enjoy uh, the last project because this is hopefully going to help out with that. All right. If you have any questions or comments or anything like that, feel free to ask me uh, and I'll try to get back to you.